Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Minus Supply, watching your tech and coding channel, my code works. So guys, in this video, we are going to create a REST API using Spring Boot with the help of ChatGPT. So guys, we are going to develop a phone book, all the REST API endpoints in 10 minutes. So let's get started guys. So I have opened ChatGPT portal in my system. I hope you are also able to open the ChatGPT. If you not, then you can register it. And then you should have a, a, a input project where you can write the code written by the chat gpt so let's get started guys so i will write a prompt here okay write rest api for phone book using spring boot with yes to database config with yes to database config we are going to use in memory database and project with project structure so what i wrote is here uh, i need rest api endpoints with s2 database and the project structure also i need as well as uh, the s2 database configuration which is uh, required for storing the data and we are going to use s2 database as an in-memory database so as of now you can see it's started writing the code and we are going to use this code in our uh, empty project and we'll see whether it's a uh, writing or not so post get all the endpoints it's wrote and we'll try to use everyone like uh, we'll try to hit all the api endpoints that are written by this so what we will do first we'll see the project structure how it created and we'll create the project structure in our application also so if you see controller model repository and service for uh, packages it's created under that uh, these four files are there okay so what i will do here i will create all the controller model and all like all these packages inside my project okay so this is the phone book and then uh, let's create a package here dot model and then again dot repository repository and then again we are going to create dot uh, service service and then third one will be controller dot controller where we write the all the endpoints so these four packages we created and if you see the name file name that contact controller contact dot java and contact repository contact service so based on that four package name we are going to create the java class here contact controller dot java and then contact dot java contact dot java and then repository we are going to create contact repository as a interface i interface oh sorry it should be an interface so what i will do i will create it as a interface interface contact repo s-i-t-o-r-y contact repository and then again will create a contact service contact service which dot java so we created four file here and based on that we'll try to write the code here so let's check and after that application dot properties we have already and it's empty if you see here application dot properties this is belongs to the same one this one so nothing is there and then we'll move to next is application properties okay so application properties we are going to copy this this code okay and then we are going to paste it here so this is the configuration uh, application dot properties we need and this is in memory i will try to use file and the uh, directory will be like this okay so i i will make it as a file so that next time if i run i should get my data as a persistent in that uh, file structure should be stored okay in memory if you use whenever we stop the application it will uh, flash all the data plus all the data then it will be again new data need to create again and again so this one password okay and then uh, we are going to put as a hibernate auto will be update so instead update uh, we can put it as a create and then remaining i uh, will copy it from here contact.java i will um, copy this contact.java and we'll paste it here and i will remove this so this is persistence it's showing but uh, as of now we are using uh, 21 jdk 21 and then in dedicate 21 it's a uh, jakarta something we need to import so let's uh, see what from where we can import this entity and then this is jakarta persistence so i will just make it as a star 
so they are all get uh, easily uh, imported so here we are going to write the uh, getter and setter method for these three and how to create a getter and setter right click and source if you go then here generate getter setter method for all these i will click select all and generate getter and setter and also we can create a uh, constructor so constructor using fields and then constructor using from super class so three things we created getter setter constructor right so we created a contact we added all the code in contact and now we'll move to next one is contact repository let's copy it and paste it in contact repository we'll see if any issue is there in code okay we'll remove this one and instead of this i will write phone book book uh, instead of phone book i used my code box right as a company name so it will uh, like that only and contact repository so let me save this contact repository also now contact repository done now let's move to contact service so i will copy this code and then let's paste it here contact service and let's see what are the issues are there okay so my code works and the remaining is same i need to copy paste it here because my company name it's like a my code works i have added while creating a project and remaining you can see we don't have an issue uh, so contact service also got done and then we'll move to contact controller contact controller let's move to here and before that i need to save this contact controller and i will replace this code here let's see what are the issues are there my code works okay so this should be removed and here we have just copy paste it here copy paste it here i think all removed uh, no error is there uh, here some error is there let's see what is that uh, okay we have to remove this let me save it so contact controller also done now we'll move to spring boot application so i don't need any uh, need to be added here so we have already this now <coughs> sorry <coughs> now we have phone book application now uh, we have phone book application in our system already i mean in, when we create a project we'll get this by default and now run the application it will run uh, on 8080 port and now what i will do i will save this application dot properties and i will try to run this phone book uh, project okay so run as java application so it's searching for the main uh, class uh, better uh, it can run this is from here itself phone book application and then java application so this is the main uh, java class which is going to execute this spring boot application and you can see here i'm using spring boot application as 3.1.6 with jdk 21 to test this api i will try to use postman i will open postman till it's uh, getting started so you can see tomcat started on port 08080 now our uh, whatever uh, it, uh, endpoints we have it is running on 8080 port so postman is getting open now i will use postman to test the api uh, written by this chat gpt so it's uh, taking little time till that if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please do subscribe and click on bell icon for more updates so uh, our application is running as of now and uh, if you see the port it will be 8080 we are going to test the api endpoints that we created here using postman so i already, already opened postman here and so i already opened postman here we are going to our application is running our local host so we are going to write local host 8080 slash api slash contact contacts okay now we are going to create a data first we don't have any data or let's check whether data whether any data we have or not so as you can see there is no data and we are going to create a data as of now so uh, i'm going to create a data here the types of vision and uh, so there are two fields so name and then phone number phone number we have to enter okay so we are going to hit the post api here to create a data as you can see data has been created in the db 
now we are going to create one more data by changing the name my code works and then it should be 222 whatever it is we can put any number here so second data also created postman uh, post api is working fine here you can see here we are able to create the data now we are going to get all the data i mean get all contacts here we should get a list of contacts i mean phone number whatever we created so as you can see here uh, we are getting two contacts so get all uh, phone books or contacts is working fine this api also working fine now get get contact by id we are going to pass two so two means it should return this data okay so let's hit as you can see it's returning the correct data so get by id is also working fine now let's move to put so put we are going to update this two data right i mean this data what we are going to do update my code works i will write subscribe and i will update something with the something on it okay whatever phone number i can update now i will okay so 10 uh, digit actually now i will update this data so put api is working fine correctly here you can see it's updated the data now if i hit get all contacts uh, i should get uh, returned uh, all the updated data uh, get by id means get all contacts okay as you can see it's updated the data and we are getting the updated data one so put api endpoint also working fine with us now let's move to delete one and that will be the last one i want to delete this second data or first data itself i will delete the first data uh, by passing id delete by id okay so we are going to hit this delete and it's uh, deleted the data if i again hit get all contacts or get one right i mean get by id then we won't get any data or i will remove this one get all contacts then we won't see the data whose id was one and we just recently deleted the data so delete api is also working fine i hope you are able to test uh, develop the api whatever uh, chat gpt shown us and you are able to perform uh, step by step perfectly and you are not getting any issue in your system if you if you are getting any issue you can put comment and i will try to help you out you, or even you can also check in chat gpt what is the issue you should know how to prompt chat gpt to solve your issues okay now uh, we are going to it's up to you you can add any number of features any number of endpoint in your uh, application to learn about and uh, this is all about video how to create the rest api using chat gpt in swing boot framework in just 5 to 10 minutes uh, okay so this video is meant for that i hope you liked it and uh, if you really liked and you are able to do these things please do like share and subscribe my youtube videos and uh, as well as click on bell icon for more updates and uh, please support me guys i am creating content for you so we'll meet in next video with some awesome content till that bye, -bye.